in today's video i am going to talk about adding and subtracting algebraic fractions and this is the part 1 of adding and subtracting algebraical fractions and i'm going to do adding of algebraical fractions in this lesson so we know when we add to a uh, numeric numeric number fractions the denominator has to be same so same is is the concept when we are adding algebraical fractions the denominator has to be um same so i'm going to do few examples so the only difference between algebraic algebraic fraction and the number fraction is now we have letters with numbers here so now to add these two we need the same denominator which means the uh we need a least common divisor here so in this case least common divisor is going to be um 6 which means a over 6 plus 2a over 3 i'm going to rewrite this and multiply by 2 multiply by 2 so i got here a over 6 plus now 2a multiply by 2 um so 2a multiply by 2 the way we multiply uh algebraic algeb algeb 2a which is uh Uh, we know two a multiply by two will be so the way we multiply an algebraic expression which is two a with two is you multiply two by two so this is equal to four a so two a time two times two a means two a plus two a which is equal to four a so it's either you can do this way or you can do two a multiply by two so the way we multiply uh, the algebraic expression with a number is you multiply two by two first and then four a. so that gives me 4a divide by 6 and now we have a plus 4a over 6 because if you have a over c plus b over c it's same as a plus b over c so a plus 4a over 6 now this is we add them the numerator exactly in a same way as we add integers so we know 1 plus 4 is equal to 5 so similarly a plus 4a is equal to 5a so a can be you can consider a as like you know A means it's one A, but we never write one A. So whenever you have one A, which means A, so A plus four A is five A. You can consider this as one one marble and four marbles, and so in total we have five marbles here. So this is five A divided by six is your final answer here. Now similarly here uh, we have two X over three minus. x over 2 so there there are few subtraction problems also which i am doing in this video but the main focus is on addition of algebraic fraction here so 2x over 3 minus x over 2 uh, again your lcd in this case is 6 so multiply by 2 i'm going to use a bracket here multiply by 2 multiply by 3 and multiply by 3 so again 2x multiply by 2 is 4x minus x multiply by 3 we know the proper way of writing this is 3x and then divide by 6 so that gives me 4x minus 3x similar to 4 minus 3 and we know 4 minus 3 is 1 so this will be 1x but we never write this as 1x over 6 the proper way of writing this is x over 6 The next one is you have three plus x over seven. First step you should do is you write three as three over one, and then x over seven. And now LCD in this case is seven, so I have to make the denominator same. So seven and seven. So I got twenty one over seven plus x over seven, and now twenty one plus x over seven. You can leave like this or x plus twenty one over seven. One and the same thing. The next one is you have c over three minus two over one. LCD in this case is three, so you multiply by three and multiply by three here. So we got c over three minus six over three, and then c minus six over three. You can't simplify it further. Sim like in the previous examples, what is the difference between these two examples and the previous two examples? In previous example, you had a plus four a, which is which is like terms. This is called, they are called like terms. So where you can you could add them because a plus four a is similar to one plus four, 
and it's like a group of same thing so a means as i said before one marble and four marbles which is five marbles so 5a similarly here if we say the four marbles and then we are take away we are taking away three marbles so how many marbles left one marble but we do not write this as one x uh, one marble we just simply write it as a marble which means this is one marble so in this case, x over 6 here. But this is again like term. So when we were adding uh, the algebraical expressions, we could add them because of they were like terms here. Here also like terms. But in this case, 21 and x is not like term because in the first one, there is no x. And in second one, you have x. So you can't simplify it further. This is the This is the final simplification of this answer. Similarly here, C minus 6 cannot be simplified further because, again, they are not like terms, okay? Now, let's move to the next one here. So, we have x over 2 plus x minus 1 over 5. So, it's getting a little more challenging here. And why this is more challenging than the previous one? Because here in the numerator... Uh, this one seems quite seems like what you had in the previous ones. But this one is slightly different because here in the numerator, now you have x minus 1. So instead of having only one term, so here you have x, which means only one term. But here you have x minus 1, which means you have two terms here in the numerator. One is x, the another one is negative 1. So now how do I add when I have more than one terms in the numerator also and then we have a fraction? So first step you should do is when, whenever you have an expression where you have more than one term, then you should put a bracket. So x minus 1 over 5 bracket. So first step should be put a bracket or parenthesis around that expression which is consist of more than one term after that we know we have to look for LCD least common divisor in this case is 10 so I'm going to multiply this by 5 multiply this by 5 so I got this as 5x plus x minus 1 divide by no I still have to do this multiply by 2 multiply by 2 so I have here so x minus 1 multiply by 2 can be written as 2x minus 1 and then divide by 10. Now x minus 1 times 2 is same as x minus 1 x minus 1 which means x plus x is like terms 2x and negative 1 and negative 1 is minus 2 or you can also simplify this you, you can open the bracket but you have to distribute this 2 to x and this 2 to negative 1. This is called distributive property. So 2x minus 2. Okay. So here we got 5x plus 2x minus 2 divided by 10. Now again we have to collect the like terms. So 5x plus 2x gives me 7x minus 2 divided by 10. Now the next one, this is a bit complicated or complex than the previous one and the reason is now in both the in the numerator of both the fractions i have more than one term so again step number one is you put a parenthesis or a bracket 2x minus 1 over 7 and now we need to make the uh, same denominator so what is the least common denominator here um, so 28 let's make it 28 here so this is going to be multiplied by 7 multiply by 7, multiply by 4, multiply by 4. So now here, uh, you can do this step uh, separately if you want. So x plus 2 times 7, same as 7x plus 2, distribute 7 to both, 7x plus 14. Similarly, 2x minus 4 times 4 is 4 times 2x minus 1. Again, distribute this 4 to both by multiplying. Nothing is written means... Uh, if you have multiply 7, this is the proper way of writing it. So then nothing is means. We already know this is multiplication. So 7 times x is 7x. 7 times 2 is 14. Similarly here, 4 times 2x. The way we multiply is 4 times 2 is 8x. And 4 times 1 is 4. And then we have negative here. So this becomes 28 in the denominator. And this one is I'm going to circle this, the final one, here. 
so you can see the here it becomes 7x plus 14 plus 8x minus 14 now we are going to collect like terms so 7x plus 8x is like term which is again we know how to add uh, integers so 7 plus 8 is 15 both are positive 15x and then plus 14 and minus 14 equal and opposite cancel out each other and then divide by 28 so that is your final answer here okay so now the next one here is again we start with the bracket x plus 1 over 10 2x minus 1 over 5 lcd in this case is 10 so you multiply this by 2 and 2 so this becomes x plus 1 by 10 plus distribute 4x minus 2 remember you have to distribute 2 to 2x and 2 to 1 divide by 10 so x plus 1 plus 4x minus 2 divide by 10 and these two are like terms so 5x and 1 minus 2 is minus 1 divide by 10 that's your final answer here now in this case so here lcd in this case is 15 so lcd is 15 again first step use the bracket plus 2x minus 3 divide by 5 now we need to multiply this by 5 this by 5 this multiply by 3 and 3 now distribute 5 to x which is 5x 5, 5 to 8 40 plus distribute 3 to 2x which is 6x and minus 9 divided by 15 now these two are like terms and these two are like terms so 5x plus 6x is 11x minus 49 divided by 15 again this is also similar 5x minus 1 over 3 and now we have here lcd 6 this is a bit simple because and this one is also because 10 was the lcd so you didn't have to think times 2 times 2 so here we got 4x plus 7 and here 2 distribute 2 to 5x which is 10x 2 to 1 which is 2 and you have negative here now this one and this one is like term this one and this one is like term so 4x plus 10x is 14x plus 5 divided by 6 similarly here 1 plus 3x bracket first always copy down the statement in these questions multiply by 2 multiply by 2 least common divisor 14 now distribute 2 to 1 and 2 to 3x which is 6x plus 2x minus 3 divided by 14 now this one this one like term and this and this is like term so 6x plus 2x is 8x minus 1 over 14 okay let's do a little more practice here so 5x plus 6 bracket first by 3 lcd 12 so this multiply by 3 multiply by 3 multiply by 4 multiply by 4 distribute 3 to 5x 15x 3 to 6 18 4 to 3x 12x 4 to 2 8 divided by 12 now this one and this one is like term this and this is like term 15 plus 12 27x plus 26 divided by 12 similarly here 7x minus 2 in a bracket 6x minus 1 in a bracket lcd is 8 so this multiply by 2 you multiply this by 2 and this by 2 so here is 8 nothing to distribute for 7x minus 2 2 distribute to 6x minus 1 12x minus 2 and then we don't need any bracket and like terms here 
this one minus 2 and minus 2 is like term 12x and 7x is also like term okay so here again 7x minus 2 in a bracket 6x minus 1 divided by 4 8 is the least common divisor multiply by 2 multiply by 2 then 7x minus 2 distribute 2 to 6x minus 1 so this is 12x minus 2 and then 7x plus 12x is like term so 19x minus 4 divided by 8 okay so that's the final answer for this one couple of more examples again first step bracket okay sorry this 10 is out of the bracket here lcd 10 so which means multiply by 5 multiply by 5 now distribute this is 10 distribute 5 to 8x which is 40x minus 5 to 5 25 no bracket here and nothing we are distributing to this one now like terms this one and this one is like and this one and this one is like so 40 plus 9 is 49 minus 25 plus 7 is minus 18 divided by 10 you already know how to um, do various operations with integers so we are using that also okay now here again bracket first and now we have lcd 18 so this multiply by 2 multiply by 2 multiply by 3 multiply by 3 now we distribute 3 to 9 3 times 9 is 27 x 15 2 times 4 x is 8 x minus 10 divided by 18 now like terms 27 x and 18 minus 15 and minus 10 so 27 plus 8 35 x minus 25 divided by 18 okay the last one 5x minus 8 bracket first over 4 least common divisor 28 so this multiply by 4 multiply by 4 this multiply by 7 and 7 now distribute this 4 to 5x minus 8 20x minus 32 plus 7 distribute this to 2x and 3 14x plus 21 divided by 28 now these two are like terms 20x plus 14x and minus 32 and 21 so that is 34x minus 9 divided by 28 so this is it for um, today's lesson